So, I got some stuff for Christmas. I'll show you here. First off, a lot of large stuff, obviously, as you can see. But the, the lid lifter, the old large chili stirring spoon. Got the large five quart, 10 inch. And this is the uh, campfire version. It's got the tripod, the three uh, legs on it, as well as the rim that you can put charcoal on top and cook from the top, which we're going to have to do with uh, cornbread anyway. A couple other things I got along. This is a little rusty eraser. I have some other lodge pots that might have a little bit here and there, and it erases right off. A little cleaner, uh, another cleaner lodge, lodge scrub brush. This guy, uh, the chain mail scrubbing pad. Right there, I just got the, ru the rubberized thing inside so it you grab it nicely. My daughter Hazel got me this camp Dutch oven cookbook. There's a lot of good, a lot of good recipes in here, and I can't wait to try them out. The lodge came with its own cooking thing. Um, this is I just got we don't eat french fries that much, but I need to order fried food. But I was like, oh man, I need one. Just in case, I bought a potato, a professional potato cutter to cut your fries for you. This guy just sits in there like that. When you're uh, making your fries, take it out and stick it on there to keep it up, out of the oil. So I'm going to use it, not often. There you go. So I also have this tripod here. I'll let you see me set that up now. I'll show you the, the lean-to. Stays nice and dry in there. It has all winter. There's a couple sticks that fell and punctured the tarp, so you got a little bit of water dripping in on one of these from a little spot there. But other than that, the walls cover the tarps on the side. Keeps the wind out. So when you're sleeping out here, it's actually pretty nice. I do have to build a, fire, a little firewall behind here to kind of radiate some heat back towards the, the lean to but it's nice and sunny out today vitamin d and chili all right let's set up the tripod i have to turn this camera off my trail cam i got in here and this also doesn't keep recording us the entire time Here's gonna be our ingredients for our chili. All right, it's gonna be a, kind of like a, a Guinness stew kind of chili too. We're gonna throw a, a bottle of extra stout in there. It'll give a nice deep flavor, as well as other odd oddities. I like to put a little chocolate in my chili, so that bar will go in there. You only taste it. It doesn't really give you really much sweetness either. It just kind of balances. Yeah, it balances off the acidity and. It's really, it's, it's good. You can tell it's got that depth of flavor with that in that, both of them in there. Good. A couple bell peppers. We're gonna put the cornbread mix on top. It's got a couple pounds. I don't, I'm doubling a recipe. This one's two and a half pounds. Uh, I only need two, but extra meat, who cares? Uh, kidney beans, we got the dark kidney beans and the light beans here, pink beans, red beans. Um, diced tomatoes, uh, black pepper, cumin, chili powder garlic i just bought another one of these but this is the end of it but it's a perfect amount it looks like so i just brought that with me and for salt we're going to go with the lowry the mike lowry uh seasoned salt a little bit not much james wants to put oh, also a jalapeno for the chili and james wants to put a jalapeno in and green apple in with the cornbread to cook on top so this is going to be this is going to be good I'm going to start to get to work on cutting these guys up. 
cutting up some jalapenos, some onions, some peppers. Go ahead, James guy. Here we go. You seen this bobcat? He's actually climbing the Green Mountains. Yeah. Right now in, uh, was that, New Hampshire? Is that what that? What are those presidential mountains? That's New Hampshire, right? Yeah. Is that stretching oh. the main of Vermont at all? Or? Yeah. Because that's right at the tippy top. New Hampshire's like 10 miles. Like that. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. So our onions are done. So good. like a depth of flavor in the background you can you don't really taste sweet oh man we'll leave a couple of big, bigger chunks in here and yeah, I like some big chunks so those look pretty good our fire I gotta get that kicked up, and then we gotta get the pot going on there. And uh, right night, yeah. we haven't had a video in a while. You wanna catch anybody up on anything? Um, just been living life one day at a time, right? Yeah, pretty much. School, doing School, good. Yeah. Doing well, right? Watching football. Yep, watching some football. What else you got? Uh, mm -hmm. Playing uh, keyboard and playing oh, yeah. saxophone. Keyboard, saxophone. Kid can just start playing whatever song you want. It's kind of crazy. It's very impressive. All right, let's get this going. And then we're going to get on with our chili. Good guy. He's representing. James this representing. MLK. Jonathan Tyler. Is it Jonathan Tyler Thomas? It's just John Taylor. <laughs> oh, okay. Toss it in. No butter. We don't need it, man. There's, it's got it's 80%. It's got 20% fat in there. That'll probably be the last time you're going to want to touch that. It's on high right now. It's on yeah, high. Holy crap. You want to season that a little bit? Uh, it, you can wait. Season the beef while it's going. Well, it depends. If we get a lot of water in there, yeah. I'll want to like pour it out. are finally inside. chopped up in there. Our bell peppers are our onions. Kind of excited about this. I haven't eaten all day. I had coffee. That's it. What time is it? Like three o'clock or something. Yeah. No, we went we went before noon when we took the dog. Right? Yeah I took the dogs for a walk but it's like three o'clock right now. Yeah that's what I'm saying. So we don't have much sun left. You see it about to peak down there. So I'll enjoy the last couple of minutes here. Thank you. 
Hazel, you, we haven't had a video in a while. Do you want to say anything? Uh, no. <laughs> That's Hazel for you. So basically, after he gets sucked into the portal, he leaves his journal. He like hit his journal, and some a kid named Dipper, which is like the main. He's kid boy. In the game. Yep, we left the bone out. Oop. Oh, no. oh the dogs will get it. <laughs> oh, <the> big <laughs> oh, yeah, dungeons, dungeons, and more dungeons. Yeah. Hi. We never finished. I dumped out a little bit of liquid. There's still some left in there. And now we're going to pour in the. Uh, Onions, peppers, just take your time. Hey, you want to guide it. Now here's the peeners. A little smoke, a little, a little yeah. steam. Alright, good. Get all the peener in there. That's your most important part, your peener. <laughs> Yeah, hell cleaner. Now you got another onion. Did you? Oh, yeah, let's chop it up. Dang, I forgot. I mean, it's a, little one, so. it's a smaller one, yeah. I got like a medium in there. I'll start putting the beans and crap in there. The beans. With the garlic. Yeah, we're just going with that whole thing. I'd say that's probably two tablespoons. Some garlic. And I don't ever measure chili powder. I'd say that's good. Probably two tablespoons too. I'm going to go light on the salt. I'm going to put in more after. And this Lowry is very salty. So put that by a teaspoon of that. Cumin, uh, cumin goes hand in hand with chili. I'd say that that's good, and that's probably a tablespoon. A little bit more, maybe. Did you have garlic? Yeah, I, got, I already put it in. I didn't cut it out. It wasn't fresh garlic. Uh, black pepper. A little bit of black pepper in there. Probably a teaspoon. Gonna pour this in with all the liquid and everything. Ah, the smoke got me. Ah. Man, I don't know. We might have to only do one can of each of the beans because there's a lot in there. Huh? We're, yeah, we're pretty. We're pretty full here. We're pretty heavy. We'll see. We'll see as we cook it out. in there. Oh god, this looks good. Bring it down. Let me bring it down. I'll pour that Guinness in there. We need some water. 
<laughs> we got some water in my eyes. Oh, oh. Right. Do the honors. Get it nice and boozy. A little Irish chili. The Irish invented chili. Nobody knows that. I don't know. Maybe they did. <laughs> there we go. Right, Look at that. How do we get this big piece of pepper in there? It's our alley. It's a prize. It's like the old cereal box. Whoever gets the big pepper. Whoever gets the big pepper has to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, put the cap back on the guy. You just... sure you don't want it? You got a bag or mixing bowl for the bread? We oh, yeah. We got to do that, too. Yeah, we got we to gotta get that all nice. We can't put anything else in because we're going to have to put the corn muffin mix on top when it's done. And I didn't show you the two eggs. Two eggs, and I got to get some milk from inside, too, for the... The corn muffin mix here. You want to get a bag or something for that? Because we, re you really got to mix that good. Yeah, I'll get, a, I'll get a zip, I'll get a freezer ziplock. Oh, this is gonna be good. Start cutting up. I'll this put apple. the cap on this. Yeah, cut up the apple. So we got one third cup of milk, some cinnamon in here. We're gonna do one egg. And then some apples, and then the cornbread mix. So you got your what, James? Cinnamon, apple. Cinnamon, apple, cornbread surprise. Oh yeah, wait, with jalapeno. With jalapeno. So we, oh. it's freaking delicious. So jalapeno, some apple, green, I'll Granny these, Smith. I'll keep these separate because I don't know how much we're going to use for that. We're definitely going to use that entire. Yeah, we try. Well, we we'll use all the apple. Yeah, we'll use all the. Well, we can put the rest of the apple in the. I just ate a the, slice of apple too, so we didn't even use a whole apple. So we'll put, we'll put whatever's left of the apple. I'm saying we probably put probably that much yeah. apple and jalapeno. We'll put that in the chili. Let's see what it looks like in there first. All right. All right, a big smorgasbord before this freezes. Got your egg. Yeah, I think we're only going to be able to fit one bag in here. Oh, that's what's good about being outside, huh? It's going to give a nice twist. You want to mix it up now? Just like this? Sure, man. All right, James, let's throw this other yeah, stuff in there. Yeah, that the way it can pum pummel a little bit. Here. Uh, Makes everything nice. Give it a good squish. Juicy. Don't be, don't be afraid to squeeze up the, all the, everything in there. So nice and even, so that none of it's dry. Y'all gotta soak it together. Do that for a couple of minutes. Yeah, right? it's got to be a nice little batter and by the time you're done. Do the... And we're gonna, I have to check this quickly and then, I mean, it's got definitely has to cook for like an hour before even consider that when we put that stuff on there, that's gonna be when it's done. Not done, but a half hour before it's done. The cornbread? Yeah, yeah I'm saying like the apples and stuff. You can just oh, yeah, okay, throw those in now in the chocolate bar. Ooh, I can smell it. Yep, it smells awesome. Oh, I'll cry. Man, holy cow. Look at that. Uh, Woo wee. Bubbling. Bubbling brook. Oh, I smell it over here. Is it delicious? Oh, it smells right, James, go so ahead, good. Put a candy bar in there. I'll break it up a little bit. Yeah, how do you want? And then uh, the apples. Fit the freaking cornbread on top. You might take a little chili out. You just eat it. Give it to the dog. Got to lose. Eh, I got no problems with that. I mean, this is a five and a half quart. People say six, six quarts, eight quarts, but I don't, I'm not going to do this. This is a lot enough, and this is plenty for the family. Wait till it cooks down and gets more juices going there. Sitting in some guinea, some guinea stew. There's a can of beer in that night. That's amazing. 
or a bottle. We'll put a bottle of Guinness in it. Because it's a really, really dark beer and For flavor. Sure. It's, it's got a lot of character to it. People use that a lot when they cook stuff. Look at the chocolate melted on this thing. Oh, yeah. All right. I was able, I think the ground thawed a little bit. And I was able to shove these down a little bit into the ground, which definitely helps a lot. Thing to be wet inside, yeah. so if you see any pouches of like dry stuff, I got no, we will be bringing the dogs out. I got in this, they probably got to eat up some of this crap that we spilled the, all over the delicious place. Delicious bone. <laughs> Isn't there some burger meat over here? Yeah, yeah, that. there is. Well, it's better that the dogs get it, yeah, than a wolf. Yeah, yeah. does it look? I bet the wolves can smell that right now. Freaking two miles away. We're starting to get bear sightings in this area too, which we never had before. Well, that's not true. Well, there was odd, one. There's always an odds and add one. Really? In the yeah, area? The one they say over. there was one in the cemetery or something. Yeah, they said there's a mother and cubs that have been there for a long time. I lived right across the street from there, and I ran. Yeah, I never saw. I them. never saw them. I was in that. Where would they even go? That's like an island. All the time. That's cut off from all the other wilderness. There's roads. Yeah, I think it's about good. Uh, let's see it. So, Knight did his job here pretty nicely. We got batter. This is gonna be... How's the apples? Not too much? You see, if you guys are watching my videos... You know, if you not see too me, many apples, not too many. No, it's good. Yeah, you got too many. Plus, crush together. them up, you'll just get the flavor in there. Oh, Plus, you, the, the apples aren't gonna cook that well. So it's gonna warm up, so it's good to... There's not really any chunks, that's good. It's gonna man. get a lot of steam, dude, because it's all wet in there. It'll, it'll cook. But, um, if you watch my trip, to where was that night with Bobcat? The what's islands? it called? The what? The islands? Yeah, what's it called? Um, Reservoir. Hey, not Hinkley. Not, um, How good my memory is. I love the place. It's crazy. I'm losing my mind as I get old. You don't know it either, though. Just have to look at the video. Still water. Still water. Still water as the water. So anyways, Bobcat did something like this where he did the cornbread on top of the chili. And it was, I was impressed. I didn't know you could do that. But I guess if you're a Boy Scout and stuff like that, you that's something common, common knowledge. But, uh, I never knew that. Oh, dude, you know what would be awesome? What if we had muffin uh, tins? We poured... So there's like a bread crust, like a bread bowl, and you put the chili inside, and it's like a freaking, like a chili muffin with all the, so you, you got the, so you got the, uh, the, the dough, or whatever you call it, the cornmeal and stuff on the outside, and then inside, it's chili. Can you imagine how good that would be? It'd be hard to do. It'd be hard to do. But. Well, I mean, we're going to have something similar when stuff cooks all through here. Or maybe, maybe you'd have to cook it, like, a little bit at first, and then put the chili inside, and then put the top layer on. We'd have little chili muffins. <laughs> that would be amazing. Let's try it. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. That smells so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all the brown juices and stuff just yeah, bubbling and the simmering. Apples, the sorry. apples are just soaking that all up. We got the chocolate oh, pants and everything. Oh, this is a this oh is a perfect God. chili. You're not Wait, even really gonna taste the apples, but it's doing. Like yeah, it's gonna give it a little sweet. Go. Yeah, it's gonna give it just a tiny I'm bit of balance. So that's gonna, gonna be great. great. Oh, yeah. God, that looks amazing. I'm gonna have some good old, good old country cornbread on top. Ooh wee, ooh wee. So so good. God, that looks amazing. Oh, we'll have a little cornbread. Yeah, yeah. Tamp it down a little bit. Yeah, because you definitely want that cornbread to seep. Just draw up all those juices and steam. And... I think we need to eat a couple bowls before we put the cornbread on. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because we got a lot. I still say it's got to cook for at least another hour to get that. Yeah, what? I think so. At least another hour to get the uh, egg. 
There's no eggs. The pepper and nuggets and stuff have to be like nice and soft and not hard still. Hey, we got time. Yeah, we got nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. We got off tomorrow. You do? Oh, you got the bank. I don't have yeah. it off. Oh, you don't have it? No. Damn, dude. Right. But I work from home tomorrow. I just got to work. I never get MLK off. Yeah, you got school off tomorrow? Yep. All right, so the, got the dogs out now. Summit, Dax, he's chewing on that bone that I got him. And just look it, just look. Oh man, looking and smelling. Do a couple practice bowls. Yeah, we're gonna do some practice bowls here. We can, we can eat it down a little. Give us. I think we're good, good with room for the cornbread right. now. But yeah, well, let's I'll take a, a we'll, we'll, we'll take a spoon. Nice I mean, it's definitely cooked it up. We're it's, it's not like it's raw meat. So you see, bring it on over here. Mm -hmm. Play it up a little bit here. Look at that practice bowl. Oh, oh yeah. First bite, we gotta eat down the chili a little bit so that we got some room for cornbread up top. So that's what we're doing right now, getting a couple early bowls, a couple early bird bowls. It's our early bird breakfast. Oh yeah, look at that. Get ah. yourself some of the juices on there, there you go. Oh yeah. Love the smell. All right. Back up. I feel like I need a little more salt. We didn't put much. I didn't put much in. But I think that's what it needs. Definitely need salt though. So you do realize that our second bowl is gonna be even better, or our third bowl is gonna be even better than the second bowl. Yeah. We had it was a, already amazing. It was How amazing. Is it it's gonna be two times as good because it's been sauteing and simmering in there. And then we'll have the cornbread on top yeah, too. That cornbread in there. Oh yeah. I can't believe it's gonna get even better than this. It was that second bowl was amazing. Yep. It just needs a little bit more time. Yeah, I, I, I needed a little, little bit more salt, so I put some more of that Low, Lowry's uh, yep. seasoned salt in there because yeah, I don't like to do just plain salt. I want some kind of seasoning in there, so I like that for that. And a little bit of black pepper, add a little bit more for a little bite. I also got some Slap Your Mama, uh, which is a spicy Cajun. I love Cajun, man, but this is very spicy. So you just put a little bit on this, and I don't Hazel it would be too hot for her. So that's just on the side. But yeah, we took a little sampling. Really good. And I gotta say, you gave some to the dogs. They liked it. Yeah, oh yeah, they like anything. But yeah, a little salt and pepper, and, and just need a little bit of salt and pepper to set it off. Got about a half hour before we put on the. Be, be done this What's it called? Cornbread. Oh yeah, you got a nice little cornbread layer up. Oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Nice little room for that. Uh, nice little roux. Cornbread roof. Oh, chill. All right, we're about ready to put the meal on. The old cornbread meal. See, it's gonna sit right on top of that chili. It's gonna cook. It's like a bread bowl. Here we go. That's all sticky, huh? We'll get it. Oh yeah, look, it's all ready. <laughs> look at that. I wonder if we could have made more. I mean, there's a lot in here. I just yeah. get it out. No, 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 watch out. Is it dripping? Yeah, it dripped a little bit. All right, so go ahead, James. You can cover it up. We got the cornbread on there, the cornbread mix. And we're just gonna, just gonna let it give sit. her a go. I'm gonna put some uh, coals on top. And cook it from the top. There you go. Yeah, man. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Hey, Jess. Yeah. I brought this. That's not how you're supposed to do it, though. But... 
Let me see that spoon. Spoon up some coals? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You got that coals card. You got coals cash. I got coals cash. <laughs> you put a little coals cash. Yeah, yeah that, the top of that bread needs to take. There we go. Perfect. Maybe it's just a little more. A little more heat bulb. The outside's here and then we... Uh, just be careful, dude. I brought, I brought that huge tree down. Okay, I don't really like you up like that. Right. You, yeah, you be careful. It's winter. Everything's really slippery and brittle. Ooh, damn, I had chunks in my beer. Nice. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, it's going to make it nice and brown on the top. See, we got a little cornbread over here, too. A little cornbread on a log. Think you can spoon one of them off? You think they're about ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, a little progress video. We're going to see where it's at. Probably not done yet. Let's just see. Oh, 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 oh. Golden brown. Are you doing some housekeeping? Yeah. All right, so we're going to click on the headlamp here. We're gonna we'll check out the our, cornbread. See, see how our cornbread's bubbling up. See how we're doing. Should be nice and dry. Oh, oh yeah, it's okay. getting there. I think we got a little bit, a little bit of time left. It's bubbling through. I'm gonna need some more heat on the top, but. Right. So, you're doing it pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's it's getting fluffy. Yeah. It's getting fluffy before it was more. Ten, ten more minutes, at least. Yeah. 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 People. Dump some of them coals off and put some new ones on. Or... Yeah. What are you reading over there, Knight? Just a journal. Yeah. Knight, show them the. All right. So I think it's about time to check, and I think we are done now. Yeah. Uh, it's... I think it's been about an hour with the cornbread, right? Forty-five minutes. Yeah, it's about forty-five at least. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, Ooh, I think that's good. Look at all them juices that made their way to the top. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. Is it dry all the way through? Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, all right, we're good. I think we're good, man. We're done. The cornbread chili bread bowl. All right. Look at looks all so that good. juice. Smell how good that smells. That uh, chili has a little bit of jalapeno oh, in no. it, some apples. That's gonna, oh God, it smells so good. It does smell pretty darn amazing. Yeah, let's see how it, that's a, yeah, a, little, a little mushroom. On the all right, <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's get oh, get our first oh. bread. Oh, look at it! It's just like oh. eight. holy crap! <laughs> Let me see if I can get in the camera for you. Yeah, that's nice. And that's good. incredible. All right, get it in there. I'm gonna do that. More chili. Hey, you like that? Yeah, you like this, Hazel? What do you think? Looks pretty good, huh? Let's seep oh, it in God. there. Just, so just set that. Right. Yeah, we're gonna just set. No. Yeah, I mean, you can't just drop. <laughs> well, yeah. Alright, someone else, get their bowl. Oh, this looks good. That, I mean, come on. That cooked right on top, just like Not they said. Alright, All right, get, get it over here. Oh. Oh, okay. You want more? You think you're gonna eat all that, dude? Yeah. James guy? Uncle you know, he's gonna eat it all. That's a lot of bread. Oh, well, you're coming with some chili. James, you like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I came up, but I thought it was going to be all messy on the top. That's like a perfect layer of cornbread. That was a night. I know, that's pretty crazy. It looks so this good. Reminds oh. This reminds me of Stillwater. Mmm. Oh. oh, God, those apples. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. It's got to cool down a bit, but oh. what's that? Say? Dude, that is good. the cinnamon in the cornbread. I can taste that. Mm -hmm. right. I was wondering what that was. Mm. Hot soup. But look at that cornbread. Yeah, I mean, hot. that's perfectly cooked cornbread, dude. Mm -hmm. I was worried. Look about how much it does yeah. rise pretty good. Yeah. We did end up putting two James, boxes. Hot. 
Oh, the cornbread gets even better when it's all soaked. Mm -hmm. oh. All flavor. And yeah. that was worth it. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, was oh, it yeah. three hours all together? Something like that. With the prep time and everything. But you can't, holy you can't crap. make something like this in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Mm -hmm. And if you can? You can, but. It's a lot better to do it out in the outdoors when it's cold. The cold weather definitely helps. Yeah. Who's going to go get me a bowl? <laughs> you want some, Angel? I'll go with you. You want to go in? Maybe go. Huh? Oh, sorry, it's alright, Hayes, because it's very hot right now. Mmm. God, it's good. Oh, <laughs> and it's like nice when you feel like nice and safe in here. Yeah. Why is that chain right there? That's for my Dutch oven. Yeah, that help. That chain helped make this chili. Mm hmm. Mm. Dad, can you do the dog voice? Donald Duck? <laughs> 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 oh, 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 it's like, you say the dog, the dog? No, I can't do that voice. James? It's way too hot, but I'm still eating it. That would be better if I wait like five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Because it's like almost too hot to oh, like yeah. can't taste it. But yeah, the so flavors good. will come out more once it's yeah. cooled down. Mm. This is a deep. I never want to like eat. Yeah. That's how good it is? Uh-huh. You're cute, honey. You want mine? No. It's hot though, babe. I see the steam. Chile con carne. So good. Raise your hand up. This is the best chile. Yeah. The best chile I've ever had. Mm. I taste some apples in there. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's apples in there? Yeah. Yeah, there's everything there. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying there's bagels All 12 in there? food groups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. It is pie. Apple pie. No, it's not. It's chili pie. See the pie crust on the top? Oof. It's not pie. It's cornbread. It's so good. It's filling, too. Yeah. Sadly. Man, that's so good. How about I eat the rest of this night? Clean it out with some water and give you a little. No. Yep. No. No. That sounds good, right? No. Let's see, I got fresh water right here. There you go. Mm. You know what you could do? You could do a restaurant, right? There you go, look at it, nice and clean. Where? You order one of these, right? And they just bring it out. And that's all you order. The outside, not for Right? So you get like five people, and like, you know, they just, you order one bowl and you just split it between the five. There you go, here you go. It's hot. It is hot. Daddy. Chile? Chile. 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 You know what Chile means? Mm hmm. What does it mean? Country. Huh? It's country. Chile. 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 So, this is southern born chili. Cornbread with all the friction. Yeah, look at that. The cornbread, dude. So at least an inch thick. Yeah. And it's cooked perfectly, man. Hazel, hey, this. Oh, goes back up under there. It's plenty of chili hey, under the there. No, we might win the county chili hey, cook off. Hey, 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 should, we should put this in for the county chi chili yes. cook off. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Do the chili county, chili county county pull off. The chickeny china, the Chinese chicken. We definitely should, actually. Chili cook. Chinese chicken. You know who sings that song? Who? A Canadian band. A Canadian band. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're still smoking. <clears throat> you want more? Or should I bring it in to Sarah? So she can. I gotta wait for a minute. Just
lost my time.